Thank you. Thank you. So, I was taking a shit the other day, and the owner of the shit was like, hey! <laughs> what are you doing with my shit? I said, it's my shit now. Get in the light, Ducky. I will. Always. <laughs> I remember those days on the moon and Mars. No, uh, <laughs> when people talk shit about other people, they often use, you know, words, genitals to describe them. Like people are dicks, people are assholes, people are cunts, and people are pussies. But I'm different. I like to throw people off. So I use words that have nothing to do with anything when I insult people. Like I was talking about my boss the other day, <clears throat> and I just went on a rant, and I was like, you know what? Fuck my boss. Fuck him, all right? I don't give a shit about him cutting my hours and shit. You know who my boss is? You know who he is? My boss is a motherfucking dirty earlobe. Yeah, he is. Fuck him. Goddamn elbow. <laughs> he could suck both my kidneys, the left one and the right one. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> nah, uh, a lot of people think or say that the vagina is the dirtiest part of a human being. And I beg to differ because, like, I eat there. And also, <laughs> and also, like, we all come out of a vagina. So it can't be that bad. Like, we all come out of a vagina. In actuality, the dirtiest part of a human being is their mouth, right? Because several people come in to a mouth. <laughs> it's filthy. Nah. Vagina's great, though. I can't discriminate against vagina at all. Like, discrimination in and of itself is stupid, right? To, you know, hate somebody based on the color of their skin. It's dumb. We're all people. So, like, love everyone and shit. But... Like, I especially can't discriminate against women, right? Because no matter what color a woman's skin is, pussy is pink across the board. So, like, there's no reason to hate somebody because they got a dot in their forehead or a bone through their ear or metal through their nipples. Everyone's everyone. Got to love everybody. I was, at a, I was at a woman's apartment the other night uh, thinking that we were going to have sex, but that didn't happen because I'm a fool. So I'm sitting on the woman's bed. Uh, in my boxers. She's in the bathroom getting dolled up or whatever. And she comes out. She's got this Victoria's Secret lingerie on. She's looking real sexy and what have you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait. For the purposes of this joke, she's white. Okay? All right. Cool. Bear with me. So we're back into the joke. <laughs> so I'm sitting on this white woman's bed and I'm chilling. And she comes out of the bathroom. She's got these sex toys in her hand, right? She's got a kinky whip in one hand and some furry handcuffs in the other. So she's looking at me all seductive, and she's like, mm, so Eric, mm, how do you feel about whips and chains? And I'm like, mm, honestly, I'm, uh, I'm gripped by fear. That's how I feel about that. My did slavery days, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah? Whoosh. How much fear? Centuries and centuries of fear. <laughs> Just so much fear. Nah, uh, studies show that if you say studies show before making a statement, that people are much more likely to believe you. Um, studies show and researchers have found instantly turns any fiction into fact. I guarantee it. Like, studies have shown that children that re watched Reading Rainbow while growing up grew up to read trashy gay novels. That's not true at all, <laughs> but it sounds true <laughs> because I said some studies were shown. And like you can, it's, it's great, like you can use it to win arguments. Like, all right, look, look, I know it's hard to believe, it's a tough pill to swallow, I know, but researchers have found that it is indeed possible for a man to get flexible enough to suck his own dick. Now. You don't have to believe me, all right? I'm just telling you what the studies have shown. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, uh, I think a lot of the things that women do are adorable, uh, especially like when women play with their hair. I think it's really cute and attractive. I don't think it's cute, however, when I'm talking to a woman and she starts playing with her hair because she's not like paying attention. But you know, I figured out a way to get women to stop when they do that. Because like, I was talking to a girl the other day, and she was like, ah, yeah, Erica, my day was... But it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't anything special or anything. Yeah. How was your day? So I started playing with my hair 
to get her to stop playing with hers, right? Like, oh, my day was fucking awful. It was just <laughs> the worst kind of day a guy could have. It was really long, arduous day. <laughs> yeah, damn. Oh, wow, look at that. I made a French braid the whole time <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I think that's my time. My name is Erica Wusu. <laughs> thank you for listening. Thank you for laughing. Wusu! Wusu!